What's going on there, folks? Uh, good evening. Uh, just real quick, got a uh, quick update on an earthquake coming in to the uh, new called Caledonia area. Uh, rather large one coming in at the moment, a 7.2 earthquake showing up on the live seismographs right there. You can see that uh, large signature popping up there on the on the map. Let's go ahead and check out some latest info on this. Uh, the tsunami.gov website is issuing a tsunami threat from the 7.2 earthquake southeast of the Loyalty Islands. Uh, let's check out this message and see what these folks have to say. Uh, pretty big earthquake, a lot of uh, incoming stuff at the moment. Of course, we've got the solar weather activity, tsunami.gov. Uh, let's see here. Based on all preliminary earthquake parameters, hazardous tsunami waves are possible for the coast located within 300 kilometers of the earthquake so once again there is a tsunami threat issued from the tsunami.gov website for a 7.2 earthquake a depth of about six miles southeast of the loyalty islands looking at the map here on the usgs shows that 7.2 pretty much covering up all the other earthquake activity that has occurred down there today including a 6.9 earlier in the day so this makes it uh, makes a largest quake so far in this cluster of movement and uh, kind of want to check out historical data down here we see some big ones on occasion uh, can't put this out of the question that we could see something bigger in the region uh, whenever we see this type of setup it's always a good possibility to be on guard for uh, potentially something much larger than even the 7.2 earthquake that is coming in right now to the area so uh, just be prepared. Once again, 7.2 earthquake uh, in the uh, New Caledonia area, right around the uh, Loyalty Islands region. Pretty shallow, 10 kilometers. Um, I want to check here real quick and just verify, make sure that these folks, uh, yeah, still sticking with it. Still showing a tsunami threat, localized tsunami threat here for the uh, for the region. I want to check out for Hawaii. Based on all available data, a destructive uh, Pacific White Tsunami is not expected. So that is good news there. But uh, still going to keep uh, watching this pretty closely. There's no tsunami threat to the American Samoa. It just looks like localized um, areas up to about, uh, what was it, 300 kilometers. Within 300 kilometers of the earthquake of this epicenter. So if you are within that location, take heed. Uh, I want to check out the National Data Buoy Center, see if we got anything stirring up out there in the Pacific. Um, I'm not seeing anything yet pop up here. Doesn't mean there wasn't a tsunami that was generated. Uh, just sometimes it takes a little time for some uh, wave height adjustment or uh, measurement to show up uh, from the epicenter. This earthquake just happened. So uh, once again, 7.2 earthquake, folks. We're still waiting on the solar event that was supposed to kick up the g3 class storm right now we're still only at uh pretty much uh g1 class uh storm things are kind of getting a little bit on the elevated side but not so much um i'm starting to wonder if this thing went to the north of us or uh just kind of gave us a, a glancing blow but either way we'll cover that a little bit later uh tomorrow all right, folks, stay safe out there. Things are getting kind of interesting here in this area. They're definitely taking a beating uh, down there in the region. So, all right, good night. Have a good night, folks. Peace out.